Hey, what can I help you with? My grandfather gave me this helmet. It's a football helmet. Will it fit you? No, my cranium's extremely large. It's for that huge brain of yours. I'm coming down to the pawn shop to sell my old football helmet. The reason why I want to sell it is it's been sitting in my house forever collecting dust. I'm trying to sell it for $500, but the lowest I'd probably go is $200. Right around the teens or the 20s, the helmets became optional. It was much more brutal than today, a lot less rules. Literally, in one year in college ball, 12 people died. So eventually it became mandatory. And believe it or not, when they first came out, you went to a shoemaker to get your helmet made. I believe it. It's believed that the first football helmets were used back in 1893 in the Army-Navy game, but those helmets sucked. And by the 1940s, leather helmets like this were mandatory in the NFL. When they first came out, they didn't have the holes for the years. So guys hated them because you couldn't hear anything with them. This was just like a thick hat. The neat thing is, is most of these were tossed. Right. I mean, you just don't see these things anymore. And this one's in great shape. Like most Americans, I love football and I want this helmet. I have to be smart on the price because it's not tied to a particular player or team. How's it feel? It, not good. Um, so what do you want to do with this? I don't know. I'm wondering, you know, is there a, is there a market for like old time oh. memorabilia? I, there is. I mean, it's not associated with a player or a team or anything else like that. Um, I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. <sighs> hundred bucks, I can't, I, I can't do that. I'll go 100 and a quarter, that would be it, man. How about 130, no more haggling. All right, 130. I set it on $130, seeing that they wouldn't budge, so I figured I might as well just take what I can get and run with it. <laughs> 